April 14th, 1912, 11.40 p.m., the Titanic, a famous ocean liner, struck an iceberg. On the 15th, at 2.20 a.m., the ship finally slipped under the waves, making it a two hour and 40 minute sinking, a very long sinking. However, lots of people still died. The full capacity of the Titanic was believed to be 2,357. However, there was only around 2,200 ship, 220, 100, 2,200 people on board, and 1,500 died, and 706 survived. Sister ships to the Titanic were the Olympic and Britannic. Britannic also sank, just like Titanic, however, it sank from a mine in during World War One in 1916, in the morning of November 21st, I believe around 8.10 a.m. Olympic did not sink, it was scrapped in 1935 due to the age starting to show um, of the large ocean liner and it was also scrapped alongside the Mauritania which was painted white at the time at least its hull was. So the Mauritania was part of a three liner class just like the Titanic, Olympic, and Britannic. So the three ships were Mauritania, Aquitania, Aquitania and Lusitania. Lusitania sank, Mauritania and Aquitania survived, but Aquitania survived until the 1950s, until I believe a piano f um, fell through a floor due to the age of the ship. The Lusitania would be replaced by the Berengaria, and Britannic was replaced by the Majestic. Two of the three um, superliners built in Germany, which were former Vaterland, Bismarck, and Imperator. Imperator was the first and was the longest ship of its time, built in 1913, just a year after the Titanic sank. I believe sometime maybe in June, I think. I'm not sure. But because of the Titanic disaster, they added more things to the Imperator, such as watertight compartments, which and other safety features like more lifeboats and the and something which was not a safety feature but to make sure that the ship would stay long longer for a while was a golden eagle which they knew that Britain would not add to one of their ships but the Aquitania had not been launched yet and I believe the Aquitania was longer than Imperator but then Queen Mary and Queen Elizabeth arrived, and Queen Elizabeth was the bigger one, I believe. It was also the... I'm not sure. I think it was the older one. Queen Mary was 1,020 feet, and probably the Queen Elizabeth was maybe like 1,025. I'm not sure if it's length. Carpathia was the rescue ship for the Titanic. Um, however, it arrived two hours later than the um, final plunge of Titanic after it slipped beneath the waves. At 4 a.m., that's when Carpathia arrived, and it was speeding and dodging all the icebergs um, in the ice field around it and the Titanic. Olympic would have been in involved with the Titanic disaster, but it was too far to uh, reach the Titanic on time, so it turned back.
the way it was going to be going. But it had, because it had turned around to go and save the Titanic, but then they'd realized. I think they were going to, I don't know if they did. The SS Californian, a ship, I think, 10 miles from the Titanic, said was said to be stuck in ice and could not rescue the Titanic. Also, the radio operator had gone to bed by the time the Titanic started to sink. Nomadic and traffic were tenders built in France for the two ships, for the three ships, sorry, the Titanic, Britannic, and Olympic. Olympic was built first, Titanic was built second, and Britannic was the third ship. However, the nomadic and traffic were built in between those three ships. Then they were sent off to Cherbourg, unless they were built in Cherbourg. I'm not sure where they were built. The three Olympic liners of the Olympic class, was what it was called, uh, were built alongside each other. So you could see one ship be like almost done and then another ship like that was maybe like its draft was finished. Nomadic survives even to this day, it is in Belfast, while the traffic was scuttled either by Germans or the UK, otherwise known as Britain. That was during the World War II. I think they, either the Germans or whoever sank it, did it to protect the ship, I believe? But I, I, I'm not sure, but I know let it sink. The Titanic and other Olympic liners were too big to fit in Cherbourg, which is why the nomadic and traffic were built. The Britannic, or Ty I believe the Britannic was replaced by the Majestic, which was the second ship to be known as the Majestic for the White Star Line. Lusitania, a ship that also sank in World War I, which was part of the Cunard line, was replaced by the Berengaria. And the Vaterland, which was the third ship of the Imperator class, was given to the United States line and became the SS Leviathan. So Vaterland became SS Leviathan, the Berengaria, or sorry, I believe the Bismarck became the Berengaria, and the Imperator became the Majestic. Imperator was also nicknamed the Limperator because most of the photos that it was shown in were, you could see that the ship was clearly listing. Not forward or back, just a little bit to the side. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like, like this video for the Titanic week. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.